After the state cracked down on strip mall casinos or so-called internet cafes in 2013, they seemed to go away. But now people are starting to notice they are making a comeback. Channel 9's Jeff Deal found out there's still not much clarity on if they're legal. Yeah, the Volusia County Sheriff expressed concern about these internet cafes about two weeks ago, a week and a half, two weeks ago, and said his agency was investigating two of them. So we sent one of our photographers in with $20 cash to a different one here. You can see it's called the Jackpot Saloon. We wanted to see how it worked inside. He ended up walking away ahead about $9. Internet cafes. About six years ago, they made headlines for all the wrong reasons. A security guard shot and killed a would-be robber in Seminole County. In 2013, state agents raided the strip mall casinos and legislators passed tougher laws. Those internet cafes seemed to go away. After the 2013 crackdown closed most of the internet cafes, there's been a a resurgence in some in some areas. Paul Sego with the gambling watchdog group No Casino says it's concerning. These businesses are trying to work loopholes in the law. In Volusia County, Sheriff Mike Chitwood expressed concern earlier this month, saying his office was investigating two of them, the Hotspot and Jumbo Jackpot. While people are complaining about it, saying enforce the law, well, sometimes you can't enforce a law because it's there, there's nothing behind it. We ran across another one in Deltona, Jackpot Saloon, armed with a hidden camera. Our photographer inserted cash to get credits. He played a game similar to a slot machine. After about half an hour of play, he went to the cashier and collected winnings in cash. No Casinos is now pushing a 2018 state ballot initiative for a constitutional amendment that would let voters decide if they want gambling. And Sego says it could crack down on places like this. It defines what casino gambling is and includes uh, these kinds of, of internet cafe machines. When we went back for a response from the business, there was a sign on the door saying they were closed for dinner. I also left a phone message but have not heard back. During casual conversation inside, though, they told their, our photographer that they would stay open. They have an attorney. Reporting from Deltona in Volusia County, Jeff Deal, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.